everyone, your fellow man channel. And in this video, I want to show you how Mr. Clyde Lewis <laughs> thinks the Judeo Masonic plutocracy is just old. And he gives me attention on his radio show and, uh, you know, justifies not talking about it, you know, in depth and saying that uh, it's moved to a satanic order. <laughs> um, yeah, we all know that uh, nothing's changed in the past couple hundred years. Uh, the only thing that's changed is we gave them more power, and they keep convincing good people to give them more power. And, and of course, I mean, we know the Jews are the synagogue of Satan. If you, uh, if you read up on it and how they've been kicked out of so many countries and what they're doing to <clears throat> the United States today in Hollywood and, and the, the list goes on. But, uh, here I bring up on Facebook when I used to have an account, uh, with, with my fellow man account, um, I gave up on it because I kept getting banned. <laughs> I got banned from Mark Dice, Jones, John B. Wells. And guess what? I mention Israel and money and sponsorship and radio networks. I'm, I'm gone. So, anyway. And exactly, you know, the no main programs will talk about the, the plutocracy. And I got his attention. Like, he he has all these people that, that, that text him or um, talk to him on his Facebook during his shows. But I got his attention. <laughs> because this guy was known before um, to pull the anti-Semitic card on someone. If... Uh, you know, these subjects were brought up. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go into the radio program also of um, my uh, <laughs> my little bit of celebrity st status <laughs> as I made a radio show for, well, I think it was three minutes, he, he talked on me, so... All right, well, I'll show you another picture here of uh, Facebook. And here he goes um, telling me he just answered me on air, and he calls me a shield. There you go, folks. I, I want to know who I'm shielding for when I talk about the hardest stuff there is to talk about of who's in charge. Uh, you know, I rebuke Freemasonry. Um, you should not take blood oaths or join any secret society against your fellow man. Um, and obviously we know the Jews are in charge of America right now. So, um, what I'm a shoe of, I don't know. Uh, I'm not Catholic. <clears throat> and yeah, I was raised Methodist, but I, I, I attend Baptist churches once in a while. Um, and, uh, and go worship the, the good Lord when I have a chance. Um, none of it, uh, um, conquers my life. They don't force me to go. Uh, I'm not forced to pay any money. So it, it's a wide open thing. So I'm not, I don't push nothing on anybody. So, but it, sometimes I sound like I'm preaching and I try not to. I'm doing the best I can to try to reach people of what's morally right out there. But anyway, I get called a shield by Mr. Lewis. I mean, <laughs> is that a Jewish last name? I don't know. But anyway, let's listen to the radio show. And I'm going to play you my uh, couple minutes of fame 
on the Ground Zero radio program by uh, Clyde Lewis. The, the show is called The Worm Has Turned, and it was aired on, uh, I think, September 30th, 2014. So I'm going to go ahead and play it, and, uh, and then I'll play the whole thing, and then I'll make my comments. Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis. Triple eight six seven three thirty seven hundred. That's triple eight six seven three thirty seven hundred. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I got it. Look, I got an ass clown who's on my Facebook page saying it's all about Zionism. It's all about the Judeo Masonic plutocracy. I want to tell you something, fo uh, fellow man. Well, that's your name, right? I'm seeing this popping up and it's making me laugh. Here's the deal. If you want your little Judeo-Masonic plutocracy, and you're saying the no main radio programs will talk about it, well, I'm talking about it right now. Okay, I'm going to take my, my final minutes of this hour, and I'm going to talk with you, fellow man, about the Judeo-Masonic plutocracy. The thing is, it used to be the easy go-to for conspiracy. The true demons at the time were the Masons, were the Jews, all of these people that we like to throw into a big pot, and we like to say they're the ones to blame, for the control policies of this world and this country. Well, guess what? It all left the building when we decided that we wanted to be a psychopathic, satanic order. Okay? So there's a difference where when you have a psychopathic, uh, satanic order, Jews and Masons don't matter anymore. And what happens is the, 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 the psychopaths and the satanic... Uh, murderers and, and, and these, uh, these sadistic bastards, what they do is they get into religious groups and sects and they basically screw them up. And they basically make everybody look like idiots because, you know, we find ourselves hating each other, demanding that each group be accountable for their actions, which they should be. But we, we basically label these groups as murdering sects when in reality the psychopaths leading them all need to be put in a room and they need to be crushed. And basically turned into, uh, in, into uh, you know, nothing but dog food. I, I would say, you know, that back in the 1950s and the 1960s, uh, when my father was a part of the Birch Society, that, um, uh, that he was a bircher, we would talk about this. And that's fine. But now, you know, you got to grow up. You know, yes, the Jews control a lot of things. And yes, Masons are involved with a lot of things. But you know what? The plan to take over the world failed. And so they decided that they would back off and let the Satanists and the, uh, uh, the Luciferian dupes do it and the psychopaths in that arena do it. So, yeah, we can talk about the Judeo-Masonic plutocracy, but you know what? It's kind of old. You know what? And, uh, you know, check yourself. You may be farting dust because you're so old in your, in your thinking. And I would think that you'd want to move on to talk about other things. I mean, yeah, if a Jew or Jews or, or the Masons are involved, yeah, we'll point it out. But you know, that happens very rarely now. What we have is we have true sick sons of, bit, uh, sons of idiots, I want to say something else, that are in, uh, that are in government right now that, 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 are, that are causing this problem, okay? And the conspiracy goes far deeper than anything that can be made up that's being made up by a bunch of people who think they know and they don't know. Because it is dark. It's a darker, darker element. It's a darker command, okay? And, and, I've, and I've talked about this, but I'm not going to talk about it anymore. You know why? Because it offends people. No one wants to think that there's a dark command. No one wants to think that there's a group of true theistic Satanists running the show. They don't want to think it. Let them not think it. You know, let them think it. There's, it's all as simple as it seems on the news. It's not. It's not. And you know what? You try to warn people of what it is, and everybody's questioning your motives. Why do you talk about Ahriman? Why do you talk about... Look, I'm not the only guy that talked about it. In fact, there were people that thought that Adolf Hitler was the incarnation of Ahriman at one time. So, I'm abandoning it, and I'm going to move on to other things, because, you know, it's just upsetting that you have people that still believe... In the same old, same old, they want to hear the same old hate speech, they want to hear the same old culprits and the same old demons, but you know what? The worm has turned. The demons are different. And it's easy to coerce people into following these demons and these, these people because it's called human alchemy, and they are great magicians at causal engineering. And they take advantage of everybody's good nature. And they pound away at it until you have nothing more to do than become a dissociative, 
individual that just sits back, watch TV, and let it just melt in your eyes. Sorry. So there you go. I talked about the Judeo-Masonic plutocracy for you, fellow man. As I want to tell you, move on, learn, and understand. There's more to life than the same old conspiracies that have been proven to be, well, partly right. But now we've grown too big and too ugly. And it's gotten too, too sad for people just to stick to one certain individual to blame. Have your own scapegoats on your own time. Triple eight six seven three thirty. Okay, guys, uh, did you digest all that? <laughs> Here's a little summary of uh, what he just said, and I'm going to try to go down through this real quick. <laughs> okay, Jews and Masons don't matter anymore, right? It's a satanic order now. <clears throat> and weren't they the ones? Pushing it in the first place? Aren't we allowed to question that, Clyde? <laughs> uh, guys, just go ahead. You can uh, listen to that again and go down through my list. I ain't going to have the time to go through every detail here because of the time limits on YouTube. So, uh, <laughs> Oh, we could talk about the Jews and Masons, but... Let's don't. Let's make an excuse not to. Kind of like what, uh, you know, Mark Dice does. <laughs> With the Rothschilds. Yeah. Yeah, the plutocracy is getting kind of old, right, Clyde? <laughs> I, mean, my, I might be farting dust. <laughs> no, they're still the ones behind it. Look at the names, Clyde. And... When they're involved, you never point it out. You get mad at the callers and call them anti-Semitic, man. Oh, it just goes on. <laughs> He's telling me it happens rarely now. Look at all the corporation logos. <sighs> he don't want to talk about the Jews and Masons because it offends people. Who, buddy? <laughs> Your sponsors? Giving you money for the show? See, that that's how we can't get to the truth because you guys in these radio programs are bought off. You got to find other funding that's true and just if you want to beat the powers that be. You want to get the information out to good people. It's the only way it's going to happen, man. You can't sell out. And then he actually says it's the same old hate speech. You got to really listen to what these people say. I mean, it's really tricky. You got to listen. They use a condescending voice to, to, to derail the subject matter. Um, he tells me to move on. And the conspiracies are just partly right. Well, let's talk about the partly right. I should have spelled that right. <laughs> Party right, sorry. But anyway... There you go. And like every time you bring this up on his show, he, he doesn't want it on his show. And he's saying that the demons have changed into a satanic order. But aren't these the synagogue of Satan? Clyde, I mean, we got to question all this. You can't just blow it all off and say it's old, man, because it's still involved heavily today. You're just showing that you're a shill by calling me a shill for saying this stuff. And then you call me a clown for saying this stuff. Man, dude, you, you're really exposed here, buddy. You're, you're another uh, bought-off radio program. that ain't going to really say the truth. I hope you guys uh, di digest all this. Um, I tried the best I can to show you what's really going on out there with these guys with these radio programs that are all bought and paid for it's pretty sad alright guys take care of yourselves <laughs>